start. So there are actually eleven verbs in total that have er at the ending of it in French, like chante, aller, and etc. etc. So the only one that breaks the rule instead of other ten is actually aller. And uh, this only breaks the rule because the rule actually goes regular for all the ten verbs. So let me tell you how to conjugate the er ending verbs in French. The ten, not the eleventh one, the aller. Okay. So first, let me tell you uh, like a verbal one. In uh, conjugation, you are you may see that j, the j i. Uh, like in the etr, I am, like Jesui, and like other things, you may see that J is like this or like this. Yeah? And wait, let me tell you that because of the, uh, in the French rule, that it is that a word, before a word, which starts from a, a vowel, actually should have a apostrophe. Just because in French rule, the uh, two verbs cannot meet them together, so that is why we put an J and an apostrophe instead of E. And uh, like in the conjugation of the M, which has a I am marked with a circle, just because it's a vowel, and uh, it means to like or to love. And the conjugation is J Q A. Il aim, el aim, nu aimo, nu aime, il aim, el aime. So let me tell you, let me translate it in English also. I like, you like, he likes, she likes. It's in the singular form. And in the plural, we like, you like, in the plural form. And in the they like, masculine. And they like, feminine. So this is the translation of them. Now uh, there are many more of it, but I have chosen two examples, which is "ewe" and "aribe." These two are the verbs that also have a vowel in front of them, and that is why because of the vowel, it becomes "j" and apostrophe in the first one. Let me now tell you about the second uh, case. Which is of the consonant case. So, in the consonant case, you may see like parler, which means to speak. It has I have marked the p in it in a circle because it's a consonant. And you may see this like j part, q part, il part, l part, du parlo, du parle, il parle, l parle. And this actually make the difference between the two because this is a consonant and this is a vowel and like other things we have chante, octe and deste which are also consonant ones only so that is why they will work like this let me now translate this conjugation in english also for you in the singular we say i speak you speak he speaks she speaks and in the plural V speaks, U speaks in plural, they speaks in masculine, and they speaks in feminine. So thank you for watching this video and let and please comment down to know about more information on other topics. Thank you.